All right, welcome back in to Fox News at 4. May is National Stroke Awareness Month, and in today's Making Rounds, we're talking with Dr. Christopher Southwood with Mobile Infirmary about the dangers of strokes. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Glad to be here. So, of course, strokes are very dangerous. Um, what are some things that you can look out for if somebody is experiencing this? Yeah, so the important thing to recognize for strokes is that they present with a sudden onset neurological finding, meaning a new symptom of balance changes, eye mo movement problems that can be double vision or vision loss, mm -hmm. um, facial asymmetry, arm weakness, speech problems, that's word finding problems, mm -hmm. problems understanding speech or slurred speech. And then the T, we use the B fast mnemonic and T is time, meaning you have to be as fast as possible to come to the hospital so we can do something about it. Yeah, so the B fast acronym you just explained there, things to look out for. Mm -hmm. um, and this could happen, you know, anywhere at a restaurant, you know, at work. So it's it's good to know what to look out for to be prepared Absolutely. ahead of time, right? Being aware, being aware to even call 911 when these symptoms happen. Mm. What are ways to prevent the likelihood of having a stroke? So generally being plugged in with your your primary care doctor is an excellent way to stay ahead of the game. We want to make sure that blood pressure stays well controlled, P patients who have diabetes that their diabetes are well controlled, um, cholesterol, that if there is a reason for a patient to be on aspirin that they stay on it um, to make sure that their blood is adequately thinned. Absolutely. And Mobile Infirmary, talk about that and this new joint commission um, for a stroke center and how all that is going on. Yes, so we're really proud about that. So this is something that only um, two in, uh, institutions in the city are able to do this. And we have the capability of recognizing a patient's having a stroke mm -hmm. and actually finding those patients and being able to go up and grab the clot and pull the clot out. Mm -hmm. And actually recently we've had six to seven patients within the last few months that have been able to walk out within two to three days of, without really any significant injury at all, which is quite miraculous. That is incredible. And that is all just props to, again, catching these early. Recognition, absolutely. Recognition. So any more tips or advice, you know, for people out there who think they might be experiencing a stroke? Yeah, so definitely, again, we use 911. Yeah. Ambulance is important to recognize. And also one of the symptoms that we don't generally think about is also a headache. So sudden onset headaches can be ruptured aneurysms or bleeds, which are mm -hmm. a different type of stroke. We do also treat those and we can, again, time is very important to try to save and prevent any further bleeding. Mm. Um, so we do manage that in the before and after in the clinic and recognize and try to make sure that there's no bleeding mm. from the onset either. Yeah. This is a great tool at Mobile Infirmary for sure. Absolutely. Well, before we let you go, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, again, just try to encourage family members to watch out for their loved ones. And of course, it's hard when loved ones are suffering from stroke, but if they do suffer a stroke, we can help with their recovery and mm -hmm. that patients do get better and try to prevent it from happening in the first place. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. A lot of good information.